Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the BMI 160 Astrometer Gyroscope module from Bosk. In one of my previous videos, I discussed the BMI 160 module features, capabilities and applications. We also compared it with the MPO6050 module. This video is about the application of BMI 160. The BMI 160 has an algorithm to calculate steps. In this video, we will be making a portable parameter with ESP32 and BMI160. The parameter will also be able to calculate the walking steps correctly and more accurately. I have used an OLED display here and powered the entire module using a 3.7V lithium-ion battery. As you can see here, it has a boost converter, a slide switch and also a push button to reset the counter. This parameter can be kept in a pocket and you can start walking. It will record your number of steps very precisely. Apart from displaying the steps on the OLED screen, it can also communicate via ESP32 Bluetooth. Using the NRF Connect app, the step counting data can be observed on the BLED dashboard. So watch this video till the end to learn about this project and its uses. For now, let's get started. Welcome back again. Let's see what are the important components needed for this project. First, we need an ESP32 which is a Wi-Fi and BLE based microcontroller. Then we will need a BMI160 accelerometer and gyroscope which is the main component of this project. An OLED display is needed to display steps. A 3.7V lithium ion battery for power. A boost converter module to convert 3.7V to 5V. A push button switch to reset the counts. A zero PCB board or maybe a dedicated custom PCB. A slide switch is also needed and a 1K register as well. You can purchase all these components from the website article link. As you can see, this is the main component of this project, which is the BMI160 module. The BMI160 integrates a digital signal processing block specifically for step counting. This hardware module continuously filters and analyzes the acceleration data to detect step-like movements. When a step is detected, the BMI160 automatically increments an internal step counter. This counter is stored in dedicated registers. Because this step counting is handled internally, designers can quickly implement a parameter by simply reading this step count register. Okay, let's move to the hardware design part. This is the schematic for the project. The BMI160 and OLED display are connected to I2C pins of ESP32. The interrupt pin of BMI160 is connected to ESP32 pin 5. A push button is connected to pin 23. The 3.7V is converted to 5V using this boost converter module. The boost converter output is connected to the 5V pin of ESP32. Before assembling the circuit, you need to set 5V to this boost converter module. By default, it comes with a 12V output. Desholder both of these jumpers to make it a 5V output module. As per the circuit diagram, I assembled the circuit on a zero PCB board. I am using female header pins for ESP32, OLED and BMI160. On the back side, I connected the boost converter and placed a battery for it. A slide switch is also connected beneath to power the module. The hardware assembly is done and now we need to take a look at the coding part of this project. In this code, we are using the BMI160 Gen library for reading step data. For the OLED, we are using GFX and SSD1306 library. The I2C address of BMI160 is 0 cross 68 here. You may add an interrupt part of the code here. Under the setup section, we initialized serial, then OLED display, and then BMI160 sensor. We did the auto calibration for improved accuracy. 
These lines set the accelerometer range for high sensitivity detection. From these lines, we configure the built-in step counter. This part is for the OLED display to show some graphics. Under the loop section, we read the step count data directly from the BMI160 sensor. Then, we print the step data on the OLED screen. You may go through the entire code for more information. Immediately after you upload the code, the ESP32 step counter project is ready for testing. Slide the switch to turn it on. Here you can see the OLED display shows beautiful graphics. It shows this step in big number sizes at the center of the OLED display. Currently, the steps are zero. Now let me go out and check if it works or not. In outdoor lightning conditions, the OLED display shows a flickering screen, but that's okay. Simply put the device in your pocket and then start walking. Keep walking continuously for some time around one or two minutes. After walking for some time now, finally, you can stop and observe the steps on OLED. So here we go. The OLED currently displays steps around 51, which appears to be correct as I was counting the steps manually. Fantastic, right? A small sensor that can measure the steps more accurately. In order to find out whether the steps are calculated only by shaking, I asked my friend to shake the sensor forward and backward. After doing this for many times, the steps were recorded on the OLED. As you can see here, the steps shown are like 13. This appears to be a little more as shaking of the sensor was done only 10 times. From here, we can conclude that it only counts step while walking, but not during shaking. I tested this module many times as well. Here are the results you can see on the OLED screen. It shows a step of 43, which is almost correct as the correct step was 41. I kept walking further and tested it more. This time, the second recorded step was 73, which was 100% correct. To reset the step counter, press this push button. This step will be reset to zero. Now you can again start testing the step counts if you want. To make this project better and to add wireless capability, let's use the ESP32 BLE. To use the BLE, I modified the previous code and added some lines of code to communicate over Bluetooth low energy devices. Then I uploaded the code. To view the BLE data, you can use the NRF Connect app. This app is available both for iOS and Android devices. I am using an Android phone, so I will get this app from the Play Store. Turn on your phone's Bluetooth and also the GPS. Open the NRF Connect app. The scanning process will start. A device named ESP32 underscore step counter will appear on the app. Connect with it. Now, view the characteristic with UUID mentioned in the code. Click on the download button and you will see the steps here. Now, the step count is updated to 31 which also appears in the NRF Connect app. To observe the data every time you need to refresh the app, which is done by clicking this download button. I hope you enjoyed this step counter project video. That's all from the video part today. You can get the circuit diagram, assembly instruction, library details, source code, program, and all other important document data on our website, How to Electronics. You may check the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.